hello so let's look at question number six so this question is from data science artificial intelligence sample paper so i have already solved lot of other questions like in linear algebra i have solved all the questions that is in sample paper also i have solved few uh, from uh, probability also i have solved few from the mm, dbms so let's look at this uh, question number six that is from the machine learning and what this question is asking that which of the following typically reduces overfitting in a supervised uh, machine learning algorithm option a increase model complexity reduce uh, model complexity increase the number of training points reduce the number of training points so the overall question is uh, that what will reduce the overfitting right so first of all you need to have what is uh, you need to have the knowledge of overfitting what we call a uh, overfitting so let me just explain you let me just take three uh, data points uh, and uh, those will be similar kind of so maybe uh, something like that and let's take the similar data point So let's suppose uh, in first what we are going to do is uh, we are going to take our hypothesis function and uh, it will be a linear. So uh, what we are doing is the linear regression. So maybe uh, maybe this data will this hypothesis function will fit the line. So it's a straight line. So uh, what could be a hypothesis function for this maybe uh, theta 0 plus theta 1 x right and if further if we uh, increase our maybe the dimension uh, of the feature then uh, we can have uh, maybe with a higher degree polynomial we can fit curve like this right maybe like this so uh, so maybe this uh, this so th so obviously that this second fit is uh, f uh, more better than this first fit right so you see that uh, we what we are take is some kind of higher degree polynomial or you can say what you are doing is increasing the uh, dimensions in your uh, feature vector right so maybe something like this theta 1x plus maybe theta 1x square right and let's suppose we have some hypothesis function that is a higher degree polynomial hypothesis function or we have uh, maybe uh, that dimension of the feature vector is uh, more so so maybe uh, we have uh, our hypothesis function that is of higher degree polynomial so maybe that theta 0 plus theta 1 plus theta 1 theta 2 x square plus theta cube x to the power 4 or cube plus theta 4 x to the power 4 so something like that so you see uh, from here to here we have increased our complexity of our model right or complexity our of our hypothesis function and also if 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 we make our hypothesis function more complex what it going to lead towards the overfitting here hypothesis function is overfitting the data right it is overfitting the data and at let's take at three and in first example it is underfitting 
and at the th second example it is just right so if you have to take the high vertices function like uh, for out of these three examples then most probably you are going to pick this one right so, so i hope uh, i hope you got the idea of the overfitting so what is happening if you look at this example so how in question what is it it, it is asking that uh, how you are going to reduce the overfitting right so if you if you increase the model complexity then then your hypothesis function will overfit into data overfit means that it will go through each point, data point right so to reduce the overfitting uh, you will have to reduce the model complexity maybe uh, this is the overfitting and if you reduce the model complexity maybe with less number of a higher degree polynomial then then uh, you will have the fit that is just right so one way to reduce the overfitting is just reduce the model complexity so this option 2 is the correct one right but we have multiple option here correct so let's uh, so option 1 is not correct option 2 is the correct let's look at the option 3 and 4 increase the number of training points or reduce the number of training points so which will uh, help us to reduce the overfitting or right if so let me explain this point also so let's let's suppose you took a data set and with the less number of uh, maybe training example so you took maybe only maybe you took th these three points right so 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 according to that what you will do you will run your parameter and you will get the optimal value of the parameter and you will get some hypothesis function maybe it will look like this maybe it, it is linear right now you see that that with the less number of example you may end up with this overfitting right so the main point is that if if you have less number of data points or less number of training points uh, th then uh, that hypothesis function uh, will hypothesis function will not have, hypothesis function will not have the complete analysis of each point right what so maybe let me take one more example so what do i mean so let's take similar data points uh, these three data points so these three data points as it is so and let's let's take more number of data points so you may have the data points something like that and what you did uh, during your trainee what you did you just pick this less number of data points and what is happening is it is in front of you right so so uh, with 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 more number of data points uh, when you will uh, when you will prepare your or you train your model then in the in that case you will pick your hypothesis function or you will pick the number of dimensions such that 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 it will be just right right so so uh, which of them typically reduces overfitting so with the more number of data points you will have uh, more knowledge about your uh, pattern of your data points right with the less number of data points you will not have the more knowledge about your data right so with with increasing the number of training points you can uh, you can reduce the overfitting right i hope it makes sense so according to that option two and three is the correct one so option c is the correct answer for this question i hope uh, 